Many people like myself and Marshall are enjoying the warm spring like weather we're having, but it's also bringing concerns about how it's impacting plants, animals and even insects like bees. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman spoke with a beekeeper in Blacksburg to see what all the buzz is about. Richard Reed has a pretty buzzworthy hobby. He's raised hives of honeybees for decades, turning that into his business, Happy Hollow Honey. It's complex, and I think that's why it's fascinating. It's a hobby that takes some trial and error. At some point, your bees are going to die, and until you learn how to keep them alive, you usually lose quite a few hives. The roller coaster weather has some people concerned about the local bee population, but Reed says not to worry. He says they're about three weeks ahead of schedule, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. They're responding on a daily basis or, a, or an hourly basis to the temperature outside. And at the same time, we've had pollen coming in, so now they're starting to brood up, and that kind of sets the pattern going into spring. He says the biggest concern is getting them into spring with enough food. At this point in time, I just want to make sure my hives are healthy and they have enough food to get to the point probably in about a month when there's going to be more nectar coming in. The queen bee starts laying more eggs near spring, which means they're going through more food. So the colony is starting to build up and that means they're eating more and more of those stores that they have in there from last fall. And so it's kind of critical for beekeepers to make sure that they have enough stores. Reed says even with this early spring weather, the bees will still be okay when the weather turns cold again. They're going to go right back inside the, the colony and they're going to cluster around their brood to keep the brood warm. So for Reed and his bees, every little sting's going to be all right. In Blacksburg, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.